So here we are into the mod, and as always, we're going to be covering this with a bit of maturity. So anyway, here's the J, man. How you doing? <laughs> so, um, you read the title. That's right, folks. We found Christianity in the best place ever. Skyrim. Have you ever wanted the approval of your parents before playing a video game? Well, this is a start. So that's right, folks. We found a Christian mod for Skyrim. Buckle up and strap on. Well, don't strap on. Jesus doesn't like this. So just to get this out of the way, whether you're a religious person or you're not a religious person, I don't care either way. The gods don't do a damn thing. Do they even exist? I just think this is a really interesting topic for a Skyrim mod. Look at the faces of the dead! Look, when I go into these mods, it's never at the expense of the mod creator. I admire the work of the modding community, but when I see projects like this, I just have to know what's in it and what it entails. The primal content creator urge is in me. So like I said, when it comes to this video, a bit of a disclaimer, there's gonna be religious teams and all that, but look, you have to admit, Christian teams and a Skyrim mod is a bit strange, a bit funny, a bit interesting. Don't take this video too seriously. We're just gonna have a bit of fun. We're gonna check out what the mod is like. You have to see the mod page. I have to show you this. So the mod is called called the Tombs of Anak. I hope I'm saying that right. And if we go to the description, it gives a big old disclaimer because it has overwhelming Christian content. And the thing about this mod is that, as you can imagine, it's not lore friendly, it's Christian. But it's also like a quote unquote spiritual successor to a previous mod the mod creator made that's called the Pilgrim's Progress for Oblivion. So I guess we have to check out Christianity in Oblivion at some point. The mod also includes a small library of over 100 non-copyrighted Christian related books including the whole King James's Bible. So for all the King James's fans in the audience, get excited folks. <laughs> So what this mod does, it has a whole new lodge, it adds clothing, and we also have a playable warrior angel race. We're gonna get started now in a second, but I have to show you this. You won't believe this. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my career. So when I downloaded this mod folder, it came with an optional immodesty um, pack. I guess you can enable if you want a bit of nudity in your Christian mods. I'm not gonna install that pack for today. I think I'll just stick with the Christian content for today, thanks. But it comes with an extra little readme for the immodesty content. So it comes with like naked torsos all that kind of crack but it also has there's a bible verse in the readme for the immodesty <laughs> this is the first time i've ever seen a religious quotation in a readme i don't know if it's from the bible or what i'm not really caught up on the lore but i just thought this was funny we're gonna jump into the mod see what it's like get pumped folks it's gonna be an interesting one what more can i say told you i was a catholic channel well this is christian but like you know sh shut up we had Jesus in my last Sims 1 video, so it only felt right to bring him along for a bit of Christianity. I'm a god, and Jesus, uh, may I follow you for a while? You've custom voice acting? He's beautiful blue eyes. I'd like to come with you. I hope it's not disrespectful to call you the J-Man. If anything, it's a compliment from me. Come on, Jesus. What's in your pockets? Sure. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh, it's the Lord's flesh and the gospel in Skyrim and holy bloods. Here's all diseases. Are you an Argonian Christ? He has a ring that makes him walk on water. I knew it was an enchantment. You're a con man. Remember when I said I tackled this one mature? See, anyway. Oh yeah, before we head out, we have to tackle the most important part of this mod. We're gonna need to change our character because as you know, there's a special new race. Here we go. <laughs> there's just Christ in the background. So we have a beautiful dark elf here for the moment. But what we're going to want is a nice old beautiful, not a Breton, you. Kiss away. A nice old angel, would you look at him? <laughs> beautiful wings. It actually looks pretty well implemented I'll be honest. It's not exactly biblically accurate because he'd have eyeballs everywhere. Angelic messengers and warriors of the lord of the celestial city there are no female angels. I'm uninstalling this fucker. <laughs> Why not? Well you can have a female angel they just won't have like the white eyes and stuff. I don't think the J-man is very impressed. Okay I'm an angel of death. That's fantastic might as well go for that. I'm very particular now about my nose height now I'm just kidding we're gonna move forward. <laughs> if you're doing this with his eyes he just looks like he's in a very old ad for Cadbury's chocolate. I want big white angels here I want everyone to fear me from miles away. Finish and name your character. You know why I'm calling him Robbie Williams? Because I'm loving angels instead. Oh he's doing a pose in everything. It weirdly reminds me of Jack Tree because in Jack Tree you had like angel mode. Jack Tree is just one big Christian mod. Do you like my wings Christ? Are you impressed? He's very wide eyed. Help me Jesus. What? I just said help and he said what? Uh that's not a boner. Did you just say that's not a boner while covering up his bottom? I'm on to you Christ. I'm on to you anyway let's just get started into the Christian mod. So what we need to do 
do is go out to the Evergreen Lodge. The point of this mod is to like eventually fight giants I think and I think the giants might be pretty high level and my character is pretty low. You know I never prepare for these things because for fuck this. But there should be some good gear in the place we're going to. Can I fly with angel wings? Are you there Lord? Thank you. The J-man's backing us up. <laughs> we're having a great time. It's embarrassing. What me? Is he talking about my YouTube? Look I think it's Alvarez. <laughs> okay what I want to do is go to a high peak up around here. Alright so here we are at a high enough peak. I want to see if we can fly with our angel wings to infinity and beyond well i don't take fall damage so so i'm using a console command to fly but i want to see if we can survive the fall i don't take fall damage interesting do i take damage at all like that angel can produce resist disease and the thief stone you know as all angels have hello i'm a holy angel are you intimidated your distance with that magic she's right to be intimidated to be fair anyway j man where are you Christ the Lord. He's running all around. Okay, let's just go to the lodge. Let's start our Christian adventure. You can see me from a mile away. I just stand out to every predator in the Skyrim wilderness. Oh, Christ. Oh, he's fighting wolves. When was this in the Bible? What's he throwing? Is he throwing Beyblades at me? He's throwing fish and bread. This is my first time seeing this fucking Jesus follower mod. Thanks for that, Lars. You're a very helpful companion. He's going to be great against the giants we're going to be fighting. I guess it's a reference to David and Goliath? I don't know. I only know that from the Simpsons episode. I think so far the J-Man is my favorite follower mod. And he's gone. But there he is. <laughs> he can smell me from my Catholic guilt. That's how he knows where we are all the time. I never thought I'd see an angel drop kick a wolf in the neck. I love the modding community. Also, there's a special surprise I'm gonna leave until we get to the lodge. You're not gonna believe this. You honestly aren't. I don't think this has ever been done in any mods ever, and it's the best thing ever. You'll have to wait now till we get to the lodge, but I can't wait to show it off. Are you walking on water, Christ? The Bible was lying to me this whole time. Who knew? Fear of God. Did he just say fear of God? Look, we're not the Nervarine. We're not that cool. Oh, and there's a nice mud crab to wait for. So here's the nice old lodge on oh, nasty little creatures. I'd steer clear of them. Mud crabs must feel bad if even Christ doesn't like you. He wishes he could take them back. I don't like the way Jesus is flashing brighter than me. Actually, don't want to take that back. I'm empowering to him. All right, so here's our nice little lodge, the Evergreen Lodge. It looks pretty cozy. It looks very nice. I like how the door is a bit disconnected from the, the entrance to the lodge. What's your look? What's your look? I think it's very fancy. You ready to go in, Christ? I think we'll be celebrities here, you know. The J-Man, Mickey D. <laughs> Alright, so here we are into the lodge. Who is that, that a mannequin? I've only just noticed if I walk backwards, I see the angel dust all around me. Can Jesus not follow me in? Maybe it's only for cool people like me. Anyway, here's Caleb's letter. Interesting map updated. Dear friend. Oh, it's nice to have a friend. It's nice to be considered. That's because Jesus is a friend of mine. <laughs> Most of the promised land has been conquered. And now, lo, I am this day four score and five years old. Just you very good penmanship for a five-year-old. As Yes, I am as strong this day as I was 40 years ago when Moses sent me to spy- <laughs> When you were minus 35. When Moses sent me to spy on the land as my strength was then even. I am about to dispatch the Anakin. Oh, it's Obi-Wan. But I will wait for you if you wish to come along. Acquire a good suit of armor and forge a sword and come meet me at the tomb of Anak. I will be waiting just inside. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Caleb. Uh, very nice of you, Caleb. There's our quest to go out to the tomb. Would you look at the nice little artwork? Oh, that's brilliant. Jesus would love to see that. Is he still outside? So there's our quest to go to the tomb after all this. Do you want to come inside? Even if you don't believe in Jesus, Jesus still believes in you. For fuck's sake, I didn't think I'd cry this episode. Anyway, do you want to follow me in? Do you want to follow me? Do you want to, do you want to come in? Hey, well, <laughs> he can't even find the front door. It's no surprise why he doesn't follow me in. I believe in you too, Christ. I believe in you too. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> also, I have to show you this. This is the best thing I've ever seen in any mod ever. So this is a Dwemer contraption, right? But it's a very special Dwemer contraption. You want to know why, folks? You want to know why? It plays Christian rock. I'm not joking, it plays Christian rock tunes. I don't know how much of this I can play because of copyright and all that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to enable every single song at once. And see what happens. It sounds like a very bad MIDI. Oh, that's brilliant. I hope I don't get ID claimed. If I do, look, it's worth it. <laughs> Christian rock is like Christ. It follows you wherever you go. I can't, I can't. It sounds like a MIDI. 
Again, I can't play that too long, but you can just turn on every single tube. I never thought I'd see a daughter contraption play Christian rock. That's the first for me in my YouTube career. So if we go inside this place, there's like loads of good gear here. I think what we're supposed to do is get some really good gear to go and fight the giants later on. So we're going to take all the grand scrolls of healing. I can heal others. You know, Christ should be able to look after himself, I say, as he couldn't even get through the front door. So, so we have some really good elixirs and things like that. Healing potions, all that. It's actually a shit ton of good stuff. Only right for an angel. I'm loving angels instead. Offer me protection. Sorry, when I feel faithful, I sing Robbie Williams. As most Christians do. It's that holy water. I'm a bit thirsty, I'll freshen up. So, oh, is that a mannequin? I don't like mannequins in Skyrim. They'll come to life. They freak me out. Damascus armor. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm onto you, but he's freaking me out. The Damascus armor actually isn't as good as my bone mold from Salt Time. So sorry to the religious folks, but uh, it's not as good. I'm just a bone mold angel, by the way, as my character. This is how all Morrowind fans see Morrowind. This mod has full religious scriptures i'm not joking it's all here peace wherefore remember the times past gentiles and the flesh were called uncircumcision huh it's talking about circumcision it really is religious it's all there if you want to read while you're playing skyrim sitting by the fire in Bree's home you can read your religious text look at this <laughs> there's so many pages in this book that is lagging the game i mean fair play to the mod creator it's giving me alchemy ingredients there's a lot of reading material it's there if you want it oh yeah by the way there's also dwemer guns i forgot to show that <laughs> this mod also contains dwemer weaponry how do i get that again there's guns in this of giants the book of giants there's some pretty cool illustrations in this i must say it's all scriptures there's a large sack of apples. Great for a growing Christian. So we should have an armory around here that contains a Dwemer weapon. Actually, there's keys here and stuff. Sorry I'm leaving your religious offerings on the floor. Why am I apologizing to the mannequin? He's gonna come to life. I'm actually terrified of the bastards. Which they do. They come to life as glitches in Skyrim. There's also a basement. This is where my fan base lives. I brought it back, folks. I brought it back. So yeah, there's a whole undercroft area to this. <laughs> my wings are clipping through the walls. Oh, and there's nice biblical music in the background. Hello, angels. I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> I'm a bit scared to approach you, and there's the book. Yep, there's tons of religious- Oh my god. <laughs> introduce you to the gospel right now. Is this preaching? There's preaching? I don't wanna- I don't wanna listen to preaching. You are a rebel? Against the living God. I'm a rebel. I'm from Kark. That's what we call ourselves, the rebels. There's the Gospel of John if you want to read that. Where's the armory? I just want my gun. That's all any good Christian wants. <laughs> we are lost and we can't get out. I'm not lost, I know where the front door is. There's the Damascus Greatsword. Oh, that's very good stuff. There's the Blood Cape. What does that do? There's good stuff here. Much more than now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Is that nice in Gale armor? Oh, it's a nice old cape. Oh, that's nice. It's really heavy. I don't think it does anything, but look, I'll keep us on. I don't want to listen to that. I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> There's a blessing table. Oh, it's an enchanting table. This is really in depth for what it is. You have to say. So there's lots of charcoal, fire salts, vampire dust, imperial bow, Damascus steel ingots. You can craft your own weapons. What's the sword like? It's pretty good. Damage 31. I have the power of anime and God on my side. Get wrecked, giants. How are we doing, angels? What's the crack? Can I talk to you? Hi, Raphael. It's Raphael Drake from 007 Nightfire. He's in this game too. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, Uriel Septim. Guy's still talking in the background. It's <laughs> Hi Archangel, how are you doing? I like your armor. I really like that. Can I get this? They're all just chilling in this one room. That's great. Can I steal your masks? I don't think they like me. Bye now. Where's my Dwemer gun? I want to find that. There's a flintlock up here. I want that. So we're almost prepared to go and fight the giants. I think there's so much good stuff here. I'm hoping Jesus follows us into the tomb because I kind of need the backup. I'm not very high level. Let's see, there should be stuff in the armory, right? I'm going to look around for a bit, see if I can't find that Dwemer gun. What was in the mod page? I wasn't expecting seeing that in a religious mod, but sure luck. Oh, there's an actual holy bible and everything. It's uh, it's an item you pick up. It just disappeared. Okay, that's scary. I like this little Dwemer action figure. I want one of those in my room. I feel like you could 3D print that. I want that gun. I want that weapon. Imperial Warhorn. Fuck my ass. Why not? I'll give that to the girlfriend. She'll enjoy that. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm single, ready to pringle. Here's an onus to your friends. I'm away on a trip. The Evergreen Lodge is my home here in Skyrim. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. There's money here, weapons and armor. Maybe the Dwemer weapons are in the actual tomb. I think we've exhausted most of this little shack for the moment. So we might go and take on the giants. Uh, I hope we're powerful enough. If we're not, we have the power of, you know, Jesus and anime on our side. So we should be strong enough to take on the giants of the tomb. Lord, Christ, did you, did you run away? Are you scared of Christians? Where'd he go? Jesus, I kinda need you. I kinda need you on my side, bud. Did you run back to the temple at Kinnereth? Christ. I'm gonna fast travel back and see if he's there. Hopefully he just kind of appears behind us like the adoring fan. I need you, bud. 
Where does he go? I'd hate to have to reload and get all that gear just to bring Jesus back. There's where'd you, where'd you walk all the way back here? Come with me. Neither angels nor demons nor anything else in all- Yeah, fantastic. I don't care. Come on. Jesus, if you're not careful, I'm gonna replace you with Croc. Alright? At least the Croc follower mod stays with me. Welcome, child. Thank you. I have to take your Christ away for a bit. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him right back after playtime. Okay, so here's the tomb. Sorry about that little excursion, but I need you to bring Christ. Here's the Evergreen Lodge. We're gonna travel to the Tomb of Giants. Here's hoping we can actually take Jacob. I'm not very powerful as you can see I'm level 4 I can level up though so we have a bit of an advantage come on large we're on the road again on the road again I just can't wait to be on the road again with Jesus I'm thinking we're a little prepared for our cape and everything and our Damascus greatsword it better be powerful enough <laughs> Christ is about to throw hands I think that's better than any weapon I could ever bring so luckily enough the tomb is pretty close by Christ won't get lost I sure hope he won't is there a bicycle mod for Skyrim if that's the case we could actually have Christ on a bike modders get on it I can't believe I'm still finding really strange and really weird like Skyrim mods, Elder Scrolls mods, the modding community just keep giving and it's fantastic. You're keeping me employed modding community, huge shout out to you. Great work. Come on Jesus, follow my angel glow. Where are you? Did he get lost again? I said, I'm not gonna hold your hand if he gets lost again. I'll discover the tomb and I'll have to feckin' find him again. Even the adoring fan keeps up with like the hero Cyrodiil. I think that's a giant. <laughs> Christ. Oh there he is, okay. Were you being stopped by Imperials or something? Alright, <laughs> I think he's ready to party, he's ready to fight, so I think that's the giant because they're a little bit tall. Alright, let's hope we can actually take him down. Oh, they killed the Khajiits and everything. Oh, now I'm upset. <coughs> I just got caught in a bear trap. Watch out for the bear traps, Christ. Look at the size of this fella. I think there's like loads of giants we're supposed to take down. Oh, there's tons of them. Oh, it's attack on Titan. Go, Christ. Go, I want to see how well you do. Is Christ overpowered? Oh no, he's taking good damage. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh these giants are a little bit OP. Oh, we're doing okay damage to him. If we can lower one, we actually might be doing all right. All right, come here, come here. I can take one of you. This is just five foot eleven compared to someone who's six foot. All right, six dig. You're going down. Bye, but I'm taking down the giants better than Jesus. You'll want to catch up. I can just see fucking bread going for. Him. They have the same names as a Morrowind tomb. There's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce that. Two hand is going up. That's great. I'm a bit embarrassed. My two handed is going up while Christ is here. Is that supposed to be a takedown? There you go. I poked you in the ass. Christ, you want to keep up, pal? Christ, if you don't pull your weight, right? You won't make county. You won't make... <laughs> He's very happy. He'll make county. You'll be a great Mayo player. You can turn their losing streak around. We're actually doing okay. Maybe the Damascus Greatsword is pretty OP. Oh, hello. The Talmor take you on the Giants. We have friends. Oh, it's a crossover episode. <laughs> oh, well, they're pretty weak. Okay, back to the Giants. Oh, there's Goliath. Is he like the big boss? Christ, are you helping? Oh, there he is. He's throwing bread at him. A yeah, great help. Maybe if you throw stale Brennan's bread at him, that'll help. Hit him in the eye. That'll do tons of damage. Okay, okay, we're almost dead. Oh, we're level six now. We should be able to take on loads of giants. I guess two handed. I like the Damascus Greatsword. It's pretty OP. Why not? 40% more damage. Let's do tons of it. <laughs> He'll never take down Robbie Williams. What do you think was going to happen? I have the power of angels on my side. It's a great song. This is just Mickey D and Goliath. <laughs> this is real life, folks. Come on, Christ. We almost have him. We almost have him. I took him down. I can see up his skirt. How embarrassing. Oh, the Talmor are back to life. Were you resurrected? Jesus summoned the Talmor. I didn't know you were on their side, but I'm a little disappointed. Goliath's sword. It does 43 damage. A blade. <laughs> Goliath's pair to the blades. And a spear. Ooh, we have spears. Spears are pretty OP in Morrowind. I'll drop my steel war axe so that I can carry Goliath's sword. Is it big? Is it like a buster sword? Oh, I was hoping it was going to look like a big Final Fantasy VII buster sword. Bye, Saf. Sapphire for sure. There's, just, there's some pale fishes in the rocks. Jesus, you'll want to see where you're aiming, but do they go to heaven? What do you mean they don't? Okay, so we've cleared the way of the giants. This is a massacre. There's Talmor, there's bread, there's fish everywhere. What a bloody battle. A bloody battle for the ages. I don't know how long this tomb is. Like, we took out the giants. Tombs of Anak. That's what the mod's named after. I don't know if this is like a fully featured tomb or what. I don't know what to expect. I think we're doing pretty well. I thought the giants would destroy us. We're on like normal difficulty. Oh, it has a very nice Christian purple glow. Who can stand before the end of an act? This is... This is a bit scary. There's loads of torches. Jesus, do you want to carry my torch? The Lord has sworn to carry my burdens. He's not going to follow me in anywhere. He's not going to follow me in. I'm on my own. This is really unnerving. I actually don't like this. This is strange. Hello, hooded figure. Who are you? Caleb. What wilt thou? I heard you were waiting for me. Thank you for coming. I'm Caleb, the son of Jephuna. I pursued the Anakim to this tomb. Come, let us destroy them together. 
Stop saying come, I can just hear the music. The music is kind of draining you, pal. I have a new companion. We don't need the J-Man. The J-Man has done enough. He's tired from throwing so many fish. What is this music? Sounds like Assassin's Creed guff. Here's the tomb. Let's see if we can take it on. I have a good companion with me. Carry that torch and stick close. Be strong and of a good courage. Oh, I like be you. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Thou goest, I... Is there a spooky ghost here? <laughs> it's like an episode of Christian Scooby-Doo. Oh, that's very disturbing imagery. I actually don't mind the voice acting. I think it's alright. Never should have come here. Oh, it's a worshipper. Again, this is just Skyrim. It's so weird to me. I know I say this a lot, but I never thought my career would lead me down this path. <laughs> Okay, these worshippers seem pretty tough, at least for the time being. Stormcloak officer, they're part of the Stormcloaks. Are they just as racist or... There's big giant skeletons and everything, I'm loving this. This mod has so much work put into us and it's pretty underground. I had a fan tell me about this mod, that's how I found it, so if you have any other great mod ideas, please let me know. I love how the community just keeps sharing really strange mods with me. It's wearing a dangerous spell. I know, I'm an angel. I'm Robbie Williams. Look at the model. That, that looks great. Like the eyes and everything. I don't know if it's based off like a Skyrim like vampire or whatever. It looks great. Can I just take you down? You're not attacking back, but look. I don't like your mocking aura. Oh, there's so many enemies. Look at all of them. The cubs are scary. <laughs> he just flew up into the air. He's gone to heaven. Oh no, he fell back down. I'm loving angels instead. Going to cry now, huh? I mean, I'm going to cry later, but like... <laughs> that was a pretty sexual grunt. I didn't think it was that kind of mod. Maybe I should have installed like the nudity pairs. I kind of wanted to see what it looked like. That's demonic. Ah, uh, hi man. <laughs> He's very high as you can see. Oh, that's domineering. It is attack on Titan. Okay, you're tough. You're pretty tough. Are you the final boss or what? It's just very purple. Am I gonna be heralded as like a religious hero at the end of this? You get more recognition from this than you do beating the game as a dragonborn. Oh, uh, the armor of wickedness. Sorry, it's, it's not bad. Pretty wicked though. Carrying capacity 50. The binding of lies. Alright. The anax sword. Alright. Gee, you're getting some great loot from this. The holy bi- is the holy bible a weapon? While blocking creates a ward that protects against spells? Oh, I have the power of the holy bible on me. It's a magical ability, that's pretty dope. But I want my sword back, it's pretty OP. I can't believe I have to make a choice in Skyrim between Goliath's sword and the Holy Bible. Oh, it's full of thick and huge giants. This mod's pretty long, I thought it'd be kind of short after beating all the giants. I think the mod page said there's like seven of them. Oh, he's gonna kill me in one hit. He's pretty strong. And they leveled up at the same time. Okay, so be careful of him, he's kind of strong. Sheesh high, they're all high. I'm gonna keep putting up my health. Oh, for fuck's sake! This guy's strong. I don't like him. The power of the Bible isn't enough. Who would have thought? I'm gonna let this fella handle him. See who he does. He offers me protection as I do fuck all. Helmets of Destruction is too big for me. Just like Robbie Williams, I offer you protection. I'm just looking to see if you're doing alright. This guy's OP. Oh, there's two giants. He's doing better than Jesus. He's not throwing fish into the wall. Can I fight you? Are you strong? Okay, these guys are all pretty strong. These giants are tough! Who would have thought? I kind of expected this. Okay, he's knocked down. Shit, shit, shit. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, I have to jump up the stairs individually? Fucking, what kind of angel am I? I can't even fly. Okay, I can take you on, I guess. There you go, I can defeat the cubs. Oh, hello! They can't even get up the stairs. They look like babas. <laughs> they look like rugrats. Oh, there's more cubs than ever some. Oh, he's alive! He's back up! That guy's pretty OP. We should be able to take him down with him on my side. Oh no, they're, they're very strong. I have the Bible in my hand and everything when I die. It's a good thing to keep it close though, to be fair. So will he go to Sovereign Guard or what? Oh, is he dead again? Oh, he's there. Good lad. And he's knocked down again. You know what? I really do have the power of God on my side. You'll never take me. This guy's a lot of health. There. Don't mess with Robbie. Remember the name. I think people have to re-remember. He's going out of relevance. Now I know how Goku feels. There we go. We've got this, bud. We've got this. Okay, I'm gonna turn off God mode for now because I want to see if I can get through the rest of this. I really do look angelic in my bone mold armor. You're not very Christian. Or are you? Maybe there. You never know. Alright, this is a long tomb. I didn't think it'd be this long. Those horse me are the horses. I don't like them. They're not very wholesome. To be fair, is the Bible. <laughs> oh, we're really going into the pits now. We're going into oblivion. We're actually the hero of Kavach. Look at this. 
This is well made. Look at this, there's loads of giants walking around. They look like they should be in Second Life. Oh, there's a shit ton of giants. They're destroyers. You sound like a gang from the Warriors. Okay, that's pretty strong. I want your bow. This looks like a Dark Souls zone. Am I gonna fight the Capra Demon? You just see the Capra Demon plastered here like 50 times. We're actually taking him on okay. Where's your bow actually? I want that. Akamaros. Binding of Lies. That's what Todd Howard wears all the time. I love how in every Elder Scrolls game, I'm just waiting for my fatigue to go up. I like how people say Morrowind's combat isn't great, but then they compare it to this. How thrilling, how interesting. Alright, can I have your arrows? Where'd your bow go? Can I equip your bow? It looked really cool. It had like cool explosions. There's a bit of clipping. Clippings to be expected in God's kingdom. You feckin' hurry, just standing there, bud. I don't know, what the fuck are you doing standing around for? What do I pay you? I don't pay you. Should I? I pay you in Lego bricks. That's f that's worth a fortune, to be fair. No, it is. That's worth a feckin' fortune. Anyway, they're just standing here. It does feel like a Dark Souls zone. <laughs> Okay, it's getting orange. How have I never heard of this mod before? I guess I'm not really part of this Elder Scrolls Christian modding community, but still, it's really impressive. Okay, these guys seem pretty strong. I've loads of like good potions and stuff I should be using, but I'm saving them for... Uh, I'm saving them. <laughs> like every Skyrim player does, I'm saving them for the perfect opportunity and then I'll never use them. By the way, this mod is uh, running in good old standard Skyrim, so I don't know if it's ported to Special Edition. I think there's ways to port mods to Special Edition nowadays, but I'm not too sure in the process, so if you you want to play this for yourself links down below as always you'll need standard skyrim so just keep that in mind because i mean hey if you're interested i still think this is worth playing i'm enjoying the tube even though i'm being absolutely destroyed don't i have like a billion fatigue potions i'm very good at skyrim oh they keep taking me down i'm gonna give my friend the power of god an anime on his side so now we should fare a little better he still died <laughs> did i put god mode on the wrong fella Oh, I put God mode onto myself. All right, switch that around. Can I not put God mode? Maybe you can't put it onto companions. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll tough it out now. We'll tough it out. I don't know how long this tomb is, but look. Be careful. You be careful. I'm an angel. What are you? You're Caleb. Look at this. There's tons of giants everywhere. I thought this tomb would be small going into it. The house is small. Oh, they have big giant steps. That's annoying. Are you just going to let us pass? Oh, we're just gonna run, us. Look at this, have I found the sigil stone? I really am the hero of Kavach. Is there a quest to this? Destroy the Anakin. I really am Obi-Wan. Is this an angel horse? <laughs> Would you look at me? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, I'm staying out of this. Are you fighting the fella? I'm just having fun on the horsey. I'm having a great time. What oh, can I fight on horseback? Oh, you're the Anakin. Race? Are you Dinak? What an epic battle of epic proportions. Can I voice? I'm barely doing no damage. Oh, he's a dragon. He's doing dragon shouts. Where else would you see this besides modding? You tell me that now. Oh, you're pretty strong, bud. You're pretty strong. He's barely doing any damage to me. Is he damaging my horse? See, I think he might be. Okay, it's kind of hard to hit on the horse. Um, we're not doing too much damage, so I might get off. Are you just gonna watch the voice or what? Okay, now he's doing damage. Was I invincible on the horse? I think I was. The horse is OP. Okay, he just gave me one is. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna look through all my potions and stuff and see what kind of advantage I can give myself. I have like invisibility, but if I attack, I'll be seen, right? It's chameleon you really want. Enhanced stamina, dross of health, more enhanced stamina, lingering poison. I could try paralyzing him, but I imagine they're immune. Regeneration, strength, vigor, defender, health. More vigor, I have so much stamina. I'm the envy of every single Morrowind fan. Enhanced, brief invisibility, I'll fucking take us. Increased health. We have plentiful healing anyway, ultimate healing. It's just called ultimate, it's like the ultimate edition of Skyrim. Solution health. Okay, we've loads of good stuff now. We should be okay, let's see how we do. I know another fight. Oh, I'm doing no damage to him at all. Even if I put God Mode on, which I'll have to do, um, this is gonna take forever. What the f- what level requirement is this mod for? I didn't see one on the mod page, but there probably is one. I'm so slow, I can't even keep up with him. Look how much health he has. Oh, I can knock him down. This is gonna take forever. And he like kills you in one hit. How are you supposed to do this legit? You're probably supposed to be really high level to be fair. Not level 7. Oh, would you look at this? I have the power of God on my side. Would you look? I've taken him down. We did the quest. Would you look at that? Look, I'll be honest. He had way too much health. I was not gonna sit there and grind him out legit. Can I actually take you down? Can I 
can I not console command you? I don't think I can use console commands. Oh, I really have to grind them out, don't I? Even with God mode on, this is an absolute pain. I can't even see him. He keeps running away. Just back him into a corner. If we had Christ with us, he'd tell you what for, but he got lost in the forest again. He probably just went back to fucking the Temple of Kinneris. He couldn't be bothered. Can you really not die by commands? I'm sick of this. I'm afraid if I put his health all the way down, I won't even do that much. Do I just have to keep doing this? Is someone there? Yes, I'm here. I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh, oh, this is painful. I keep knocking him over, that's a good thing, right? How are you supposed to do this legit? This is just agonizing. Oh, I can see up your skirts. Good thing I didn't put on nudity. That'd be a big willy. His health's only halfway down now. It's clipping through everything. I think I might have him stuck. This would be handy if I do. I just keep power attacking him. This is good, actually. This is good. Very slowly, so I can keep doing it. Even the sword does like a decent amount of damage, so... It's just taking super long. Okay, I have him trapped in the corner. This is the epic boss fight. This is what it's all been leading up to. I got a critical strike! I got a critical strike and it barely did anything. Cool. Well, we almost have him. I think. It just works. It just works. It just works. Was he healing? He's healing the- <laughs> That's cheating. I can't even use cheats on you. This is bullshit. This is actual bullshit. He's healing. He better only heal once. Okay, we almost have him. I think. I took him down. I did this. Completed the tombs of Anak. Is that the is that it? Quest over. He just has the armor of wickedness. He has the same loose as everyone else. Helmet of destruction. The Anak swords. Do I need that for something? I did it. I did the thing. I did it. Hi, Caleb. The Lord bless thee. Oh thanks, very nice of you. Is that it? Is that all I guess? What's in here? Lift up his countenance. The bottomless pit, what's in here? I can't go in. Is there supposed to be like a ritual? I don't know if I finish it. Did I do it? Hello, gentlemen. It's wearing a dangerous spell. I know I am. A dangerous spell. It's wearing a dangerous spell. Caleb, did we do it? <laughs> he didn't like that. He didn't like me running into him. The Lord blessed thee. Alright. Oh, here's the magic. Oh, what are you? The angel of the Lord? Fear not, I am the first and the last. <laughs> I like your voice. He that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am... Is someone there? Your dialogue was a bit interrupted but by that giant. I'll get him, don't worry. I guess he has to open the door? This quest just still keeps going. I wasn't expecting to hear the angel of the Lord through a blue yeti. Is that how they communicate these days? Probably is. There you go. Can you not be interrupted now? Is that your horse? Sorry, I took him. Please tell me you can get up onto the thing. Fear not, I am the first <laughs> and the last. Okay, he's going again. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. Who's Amen? Okay, can I stand in this? Is that the burning bush? You gonna do anything? Fear not. I know a bush. I'm not afraid, don't worry. I guess this is where the mod ends, or at least this is as far as I can put up with it. So that was the Christian mod for Skyrim. <laughs> Wait, what's this over here? This fella's just gonna be here forever. I think I broke some of the scripting. There's the gospel of peace. Am I supposed to wear these? Oh! The shield of faith, salvation. Hold on, the armor of righteousness. Do I equip this and then stand? The armor of righteousness. Oh, that's really good. I can't tell what it does because it's just scripture. Gospel of peace, salvation, the shield of faith. Oh, look at me, I'm a proper angel now. I look like a proper angel, that's it. Okay, so I have everything equipped. Can I do anything with this now? Is this needed for something? Can I talk to you again, bud? Can I stand in here? This feels like it'd be something you'd do, but apparently not. Fear not. Fear I not. For I am watchful. I you have been chosen. You're not a zero. Okay, can I go in? I have the righteous armor. 
I don't think there's anywhere to go in here. So that was the tomb of Anak for Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know what else to do. I think I just broke the quest. Maybe that is the end? Look, guys, I don't know. I don't know where it wants. We're gonna raid our horsey into the night. And uh, yeah, I guess we beat us. I don't know how long this mod is. There's not much gameplay of it online, so I don't know how far I got. But that was it. That was the Christian mod. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was as strange going into us as you expected it to be. I guess maybe we can check out that Oblivion one in the future and maybe beat that one. Caleb's just gone back to the entrance. Caleb, you fucking stink. The J-Man's a much better companion. I'm sorry. The Adoring Fan would be a better companion. What a comparison. What a way to end off. The Adoring Fan is better than you, Buzz. The Adoring Fan's better. Look at my fucking fella. Oh, that's, that's angelic. Look at this. Ah, uh, you stink. Pfft.